Yeah, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but North currently is wearing tassels right now. Welcome to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth again. It got a little shafted, but, you know, content gaming games usually takes priority. So, we'll continue. I mean, the tassels were Jolly's idea. Not to, like... You know, I don't want to throw him under the bus, but it Jolly was like, Vinny, you should buy tassels for Nortz. And I said, you know what, Jolly? That's a really nice idea from a nice friend. So here's the reactor. Um, there's a whole new storyline thing happening here. Oh, um, if you want to see what North looks like right now, it's very, very close to this. So that's the red frog um, puppet that I have with uh, a little dumpy. And this is the best picture I have of North at the moment. I just wanted to show the dumpy on the red frog. That's why that's like that. Anyway, you just got a crash course on my streams if you haven't been to them and um you may leave now no need to stay i you know save your sanity save yourself the v bucks were never real you can't win them so last time we played this what happened cloud found a monster hunter sword i failed at fighting odin like seven times Lighting in here. Jeez. Cloud, you look spooky. Spock. We're here to help. It's a tentacle monster. You know, given the conversation I just had with chat, I'm not even phased by this right now. All right, is weak to ice? Destroying the tentacles will pressure it. And summon a clone. Well, we've got ice. Tifa's got ice. Yuffie's got, uh, so something. Yuffie's got uh, a clone of herself. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell happened here? You like how I just let that happen? I just let Cloud fall unconscious. That's that's cool. Glad I did that. I thought he needed a break. This would probably call for a potion. We need something very powerful here. That wasn't, that was not very, that was not it. Oh, there's a clone. I want to attack, but I also have to cure. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. We gotta find Murasaki. Okay. I gotta say, this game does like reactors, metal, slime very well. These are the game's strengths. Yeah, this is as Resident Evil as Final Fantasy can look, I think. Vinny, I heard Summer in Paradise for the first time the other day, and I regret it. Why would you listen to a terrible album by the worst part of the Beach Boys, which is Mike Love? I doubt it. They were shot. You see that? Oh, down there. A little vibration. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. Summer in Paradise is not good vibrations. It's it's like rotten vibrations. For those that don't know, it is uh, a terrible album. You should watch. There's a, a YouTube video from Todd in the Shadows called Train Records. It covers the uh, that that album. It's bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think anyone on this team right now is okay. I think we found our guy. We need to check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone. Or something, yeah. I don't know. And this. Huh? Kate Sith? Ah, Yuffie! And where might you be? Imagine people who have never seen this game before watching this yeah. for the first time and then seeing I'm Kate Sith right now. Thought I might be able to do something from here, so I tried accessing the reactor terminal. Anyway, did you find Murasaki? Yeah, we did. He died in a skirmish with Wu Tai. He... what? Then we don't have much time. We have to reach the terminal in Shinra Manor before word gets out. You've got the key card, right? Yeah. Good. Then slot it into the console. I'll work my magic from here. Should have that gate open before you know it. I really just want every, like, Kate Sith interaction to end with one of the characters saying, Holy shit, is that a talking cat? There, my son. I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. My son. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio. See ya. Let's go. Well, you heard them. Time is of the essence. We need to find that terminal, ideally before they get back. Yes, sir. You stay behind and wait for them. Once they arrive, you can put that nose of yours to work. 
follow our scent right to us. <sighs> you gotta admit, you're the best one for the job. I will concede you have a point. Then let's get a move on. Wait, he's using his grown-up voice. Boy. Not only is there a talking cat, but I am now controlling a talking cat. My mom needs to move in with me. I know you allow that for immediate family. What? The services we provide here. Wait, can I play cards? No opponent available. <laughs> oh man. I like how the the joke of uh, holy shit is that a talking dog went to holy shit is that a talking cat. Wow. They're just making him roll, huh? Understand this is supposed to be a form of physical This should be filmed in um content warning. Careful out there. Oh, we gotta go to Shinra Manor. What am I doing? This is the wrong way. Final Fantasy is an adult game for adult baby gamers that wear adult baby diapers. Vinny, shut up. All right. So when I see someone say Vinny, shut up, I check their sub level, and if it's like gold or above, I'm like, yeah, no, they're probably they're probably right. <laughs> They've been here long enough to know. <laughs> you heard, chat? I think you're catching my drift. If you spend enough money on my channel, you can abuse me, and I will not ban you. That's not true. That's a lie. That's a complete lie. I will fucking be so upset if you got angry and scummy with me. Please don't do that. I don't want your money. They pulled out all the stops decorating this place. Definitely seen better days, though. Ah, what's a few cracks between friends? It's almost 50 years old. This can't just be a fancy house. I'm gonna go out on a limb and agree with you there. The village is practically drowning in a sea of black robes, after all. So what if it is? Well, it would add weight to the rumor that Hojo used to conduct experiments here. Hojo. <laughs> Doubt it's just a rumor. They don't even really try to hide that there's a lower level, though. Wasn't it, um... In the original, this this elevator or like the path downstairs was like I think stairs maybe, but it was hidden, right? Yeah, it was like it was upstairs. It was a spiral staircase, and it was behind a bookshelf. Yeah, this one no pretense whatsoever. It's just here is spooky manor with spooky Resident Evil basement. Kinda creepy. This a kid's clubhouse. Oh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. But nay bother, I'll protect you. Uh, hello and welcome to Shinra Manor. Uh -huh. Hold on. I don't know what it is you hope to find here. But I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Everything of value is gone. But please, feel free to poke around. Ah! It's not him. It's just an AI caretaker. That said, this facility has always... Seems like a pre-recorded message. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Can't say I'm surprised. That was a sore one. A place like this having a false floor. Oh man, Barrett's neck is like broken. Oh good. That shithead is gonna get it. I 
think we're trapped in here. <laughs> like rats in a cage. Snow squeezing through those bars. Despite all my rage. That duck, however, might just fit a cat. Sit tight, I'll have you out in a jiffy. What is this? Uh, really? Okay. Uh, I should point out this is also not in the original for people who may not be fully aware. <laughs> hang on, I have a... Hang on, chat. Wait a minute. I've... My whole life has been leading up to this. Oh, wait, no. Go back in. Go back in. I regret that. I regret this. Anal sphincter. You can't just press one button on the soundboard. It's like what chips when you pop them, like uh, it's like pussy chips when you pop them, you can't stop them. I think it was the the thing there. Someone's like, oh, chat's like what? As if they didn't know that Joel g gifted me pussy chips a couple years ago. Do I have to explain the pussy chips? What was the actual, like, what was the brand of those chips? I'm sorry to do this while I'm playing as a literal pussycat right now, but... Why do you want to remember? I don't know. I'm new to your channel and I'm very confused. Your first mistake... ...was, um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, there's no mistake, I guess. Thanks for being here. Uh, you might leave after this. Hey, Jack. How's it looking? Do you still think you can get us out of here? I don't know. So yeah, they're they're chips that on the front of them they, they're like vagina chips, and um, they didn't they they didn't really taste like that. Chat. It was it was japes. It was a jape. It's not that. But it kind of disgusted me when I tried them. It was like gross. If I could be honest, it was very standard, like just like um, weird chip flavor. But it it kind of grossed me out enough that I I didn't even. I didn't want to eat more of them. Find a way to save the others. Was I not doing that? Well, so much for big anime man with a giant sword. Attacking dragons and strange tentacle creatures. This is Cat Rides a Giant Moogle time. Alright, um, let's... Vinny, it literally told you what to do. I know, I was talking about pussy chips, though. <laughs> I 
Okay, so that's how you get a new box. Alright. Save the jokes, chat. Save the jokes. I see a thing up there. Maybe I have to toss that. You're gonna have to toss me. If this is your first time at this channel, please note, Vine Sauce is not normally this terrible at video games. He is in fact a god gamer and has several speedruns <laughs> registered on speedrun.archive or whatever the fuck the website is. Chat, would you feel comfortable if Kate Sith was trying to bust you out of jail? Everyone saying yes? Alright, yeah, me too then. Sure. I agree, chat. Again, as silly as this character is, I like Kate Sith in the rebirth, uh, in, in in this remake. If you can call it a remake, I mean, it, you know what it is. I like Kate Sith like 150% better than in the original game. At least it's like there's some, I don't know, I, I like the, the, it's been funny a little bit. It's like kind of cute. It, it's not trying to take itself too seriously. This game doesn't take itself too seriously a lot, which is good. But um, in the original, I just felt like the character felt like it felt a little flat for me. I think the voice acting helps a lot. There you go. Destroy supply crates by throwing Shinra boxes at them. Doesn't Barrett have a gun? shit. Vinny, I finished TNG and now Deep Space Nine on your recommendation. Where do I go next? Um, Abandon Hope All Ye Who Enter is the next Star Trek. Ah! No, I mean, Enterprise is pretty good. I, I really do think Enterprise has some great moments. Voyager has some great moments. I don't think it's either are as consistent as TNG and, and especially DS9. But, they're worth watching. The original series has its moments too. The movies are good in the original series. You could watch Picard Season 3. I am telling you, I wouldn't normally say something like that unless I really believed it, because... I hated Picard Season 1, and didn't even bother with Season 2. So take my word for it, skip Season 1 and 2, and just watch Season 3. 
watch maybe Strange New Worlds. It, I only watched the first season. I thought it was fine. I know people love that show. It's fine. I'll probably get into it more at some point, but it's it's in it's more in the spirit of Star Trek in a way that I think I could enjoy more than some of the other shows. You could watch the Orville. I don't know if you can handle Seth MacFarlane's voice and face, but uh, Norm MacDonald was in it, and I really liked the Orville. I thought it was a good show when it was still on, you know? Maybe one day they'll bring it back, but... Uh, yeah, it, it retains the TNG feel. But I hate to say it, you watched the two best ones, in my opinion. So, uh, it, you know, you're gonna be chasing that high for a while. TOS next. Yeah, I mean, there's some great TOS episodes. There's also some fucking rotten TOS episodes of the original series. And expect, you know, 60s sets and acting, and I mean, you just have to kind of try to get into it. There's a lot of other, yeah, there's a lot of 60s, um, you know, you know, like, there's, there's like, you know, there's stuff that didn't maybe age so great. But that's why you view it from the point of view, like, oh, this is a historical document about the 60s as much as it is a vision of the future. And it, it's very interesting as such. Watch Spock's brain. Never watch Spock's brain. Or watch it first and get it out of the way. Don't do that. This is how I retain any new audience members that have been um, sent my way from Snuffy or Ross or anyone. Talk about Star Trek. Let me impress people with my knowledge of Star Trek. while I control a cat on top of a giant Moogle. This is the content right here. Can we do another Star Trek watch party sometime? Um, I think <laughs> Twitch is getting rid of watch parties, if I'm not mistaken. portion of the pet. What? We'll just get rid. We don't need to do that. There was another party member we did we are missing. Which I know is not true. Is Kremrold anywhere? Also, chat, please let me know if I'm missing a weapon. Anything else maybe I don't give too much of a fuck about, but if I'm missing like a an, you know a really good weapon. Oh, Red 13. <laughs> I forgot about Red. I don't know how that happened. I say as I continue to chuck boxes at switches and boxes. Uh... Ooh, 
It's fine. Chad, it's fine. Random bullshit go. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite special ability. Dual sense wireless controller battery level is low. You know how powerful that shit is? Someone said, I must admit, this does look fun. Uh, best Final Fantasy combat system for me in a long time. I mean, 16 had a lot of good moments. I didn't play 15. I didn't play 14, 13, 12, 11. But I played 10. So just ignore me because I don't know what I'm talking about. However, I am enjoying it. And I feel like it is it is a fun combat system. Um, this is... I don't know what... I don't know what's going on with this section of the game. Someone at Square was like, alright, listen, we need, we need, hear me out. Hear me out. We need... Kate Sith to have his own section. Hear me out. It's me, Genius Nobunga. And we need Kate Sith to have puzzle-solving, vent-traversing, rock-socking, cock-socking, good time. Can, can we- can you do it? Can you do it? Crawl. Alden hates it. Crawl on the ground like a baby. It'd be- all oh, for the film, it'd be so beautiful. I don't know why I'm doing this even. Let's see. Try throwing a box at the lever. In Kate Sith's world, every problem can be solved by throwing a, a box at it. Someone said, I wonder how that first time viewer's doing. Oh, they're gone. They've been long gone. They, they heard, listen, even before the David Lynch bit, all these, like, esoteric, very specific bits that are, like, for the amusement of, like, 15 people in chat. Even before that. Could do the Picard Goon Cave bit. That's a classic. Thank you. Don't mention it. All in a day's work. Something tells me I'm going to need these boxes. Maybe. Oh, there's just stuff in here. I mean, this would be more fun with Cloud. I swear to God, these Final Fantasy remakes love their box breaking mechanics. You can roll into them. Oh, right, because I have a roll ability. Focus. 
Okay, let's go! <laughs> Barrett has told every enemy in this game to suck it at some point or another. I wonder if we are, um... close to the end of this sequence. That would be cool. I didn't hate this. There were chat members who were like, this is bad. I, I, it's fine. It's just when you get to Shinra Manor, you know, I, I want to see the, the stuff. I want to, I want to get moving on that story. Want that juicy lore meat. Whoa. The hell is this shit? Oh my god, we're playing basketball. Genius Nobunga. Okay, why are, why Moogle? Moogle, why can't you just step around like a normal Moogle? That's two. Sufficient Mako levels confirmed. Well, fucking thank Generator God for that. Lockdown protocol disengaged. Who knew all this was down here? Show no mercy! Oh, oh. We've got that shit go! Just a wee fortune teller. Just, just an innocent wee little fortune teller. What does this just normal men mean? That like... Five people posted. Someone else said, you have nothing to worry about.
just innocent men, normal men. It's from some British kids show. Those were lyrics. I guess now's as good a time as any to learn how to fucking use this character. You want his Moogle out as fast as possible. The Moogle moves and attacks on his own and can block instantly. Do you think Shinra designed that Moogle specifically for combat? Chat, this is the beginning of a melody. What is it? It's, it's driving me crazy. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's just this game. It's the... No, when it goes da da... It's the Sephiroth music. Da 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 da... You nerd. What? It's the notes. Warm bangle. It's on sale. Do you think it's a coincidence that Kate Sith Sitharoth has the um Oh that's only a plus one. Never mind that then. It has some Sephiroth music. I'm not trying to spoil anything. I'm not saying that the cat is Sephiroth. Yeah, I don't really feel like doing this right now, so I'm probably only going to just do this one. It's Kate Sith, Kate Sith's theme, but slowed down. No, it is, yes. And, and it, you know, embellished a bit, and different arrangement, and uh, it sounds like a Tim Burton, like a Danny Elfman composition, a little bit. But I still hold fast to my theory that Kate Sitharoth is um, is a sleeper cell waiting to turn into a Sephiroth clone. Now I don't know that for sure because again the remake is different than the original, so I'm probably I'm probably right to be honest. I feel like aside from the dirty dish rag ghosts. The changes haven't pissed me off too much. Even Sephiroth appearing a little early in the first one, I understand the utility of it. Insufficient power. Generator on standby. Oh, sounds about right. Switching ventilation system to maintenance mode, enabling duct access. Please commence on-site inspection. According to this, that generator. There's been some upstairs. stuff. It hasn't added up to like well, me disliking the game, but it, it yeah, there's there's the definitely some stuff. Sure you'll be okay? Positive. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't have too much fun without me.
try throwing a box at the duck switch. Well, it, why not just do it for me, game? seemed necessary. How can you roll directly up like that? Please, please enlighten me. Strange cat, man. <laughs> Summoning the Moogle. You see me facing. Anything he does can be explained as him being a fortune teller. Well, yeah. He's a, he's a cat fortune teller. Whoa. That does explain plenty. Jesus. Where's the Moogle gone? Did I just miss the Moogle? has half HP bar next to ATB. Oh my god, what was that? Off to the old junkyard in the sky. Oh. Some abilities dismiss the Moogle. Yeah, this, this enemy seems like a, a pretty annoying enemy. Oh, I, I don't think I have assess, so I can't even figure out, like, what the thing is weak to. It's annoying in the original, too. I don't even remember this enemy from the original, but, you know. Years. Many years. Moogle Knuckle. Hey, that's good. I should be using that more. I saw Moogle Knuckle, and my brain perceived it as Moose Knuckle, and I was not happy about that. Okay, um, so I wasn't even... Yeah, I mean, we weren't even close to being finished with this sequence, were we? Great. Okay.
Going up. Attack to magic attack materia. This does seem like some terminal that you could use, but... Guess not. Okay, well now I am a little bit lost. We gotta get, gotta get the thing open first. Right. Try throwing a box at the duct switch on the lower floor. Duct switch on the lower floor. Oh, I see what it's okay. I have mixed feelings about a game telling me how to solve the puzzle. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm not welcoming it. Because, chat, you've seen me run in circles and ask, chat, where do I go? A thousand times. So in order to like, save you, the chat, and my own time, it's nice that the game is like, pointing me in the right direction. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it is a little bit, it's a little, uh, it's a little weird because why not even just solve the puzzle for the character then at that point? The player, not the character, you know what I mean? But I do, you know, I like having the answer if I'm, like, stuck, because otherwise, it gets frustrating. It's not Skyward Sword, though. No, I mean... But even Skyward Sword in the dungeons let you figure out a lot more puzzles. It's just this game I've noticed in a lot of... It's not just this one. A lot of games do it, where if you don't get it right away... It gives it to you. So, yeah, I mean, I'm mixed. I'm very, very mixed about it. And clearly, I need the help, so I don't mind it. I also have Streamer Curse. Which is to say, I'm actually worse at video games when I'm streaming, because I'm also, you know, trying to talk and keep an audience's attention. Sometimes. Sometimes I <laughs> Clearly tonight is not one of those nights, but... There's another angle to why I think my gameplay is worse. Is uh, I usually like stream, like the last thing I do at night is stream before bed. And I've noticed, like I've actually did, I've noticed several times that I actually am slightly better at video games when it's not this late. But that doesn't mean I want to stream early. Once in a while, but not not frequently. Oh my god. Why is it immune, chat? Oh my god. I don't have the assess ability on Kate's it. You do have assess. Wait, really? Ah! Oh.
did you just not notice? I think the things I was saying apply to that situation. Yes, I didn't notice. It's a frustrating feeling, isn't it? When the streamer or the person you're watching doesn't notice the thing you notice? Because how could they miss it? Let's see. Weak to lightning. Enough damage will pressure them. Pressuring them will render physical attacks ineffective. Ah. Do I have lightning? I don't have lightning. I've got Moose Knuckle and that's it. And I missed. cast a spell. I don't have any spells. Okay, I should probably fuck with Kate's materia. Come on, come on, come on. There's one. It's just quite a journey! Ah! Something that was. <sighs> okay, we will we will re-equip the cat. Stand still, spam square, occasionally dodging and parrying. <sighs> That's okay. We just need homeboy to get like some some lightning material that's gonna help. I'm gonna borrow it. I'm gonna borrow it. Okay, now I have to use the light, the thunder. No? Oh. Okay. Melford. No, what do you mean, Melford? What do you mean, Melford? It has reflect. Oh. Oh, 
Hardest fight in the game right here, chat. I don't have any MP. <laughs> Great. There we go, chat. Oh my god. I did it. That took entirely too long. Ought to do the trick. Now, let's see. All problems can be solved with boxes. Wait. Wait, where's the scale? Where, uh... I didn't see the scale chat. I mean, I know where it is now, but we have to do a little bit of uh, busy work here. It's, it's fun. I especially love when the boxes don't end up where, where I want them. Okay, great, great. Please pick up the box, please. I don't, I don't. Chat, it is, it is done. Oh, now I have to get rid of them. Oh, okay. I got this. Whoa, 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 whoa. We were inside the Moogle. Please, I want more box throwing puzzles. Please. There, got it. 
What now? I want to fight three scales instead of two. See, weak to fire, becomes pressured when either head is incapacitated. Remaining head will go berserk. is berserk I think maybe maybe run summon chocobo and moogle that seems like a kind of a bad idea oh Got me with some impeccable timing. Tapping directions while on the Moogle gives you the good dodge. You can cast while guarding on the Moogle, by the way. Creature, why do you do this to me? Yeah, I mean, I, I was able to get away with playing this game a certain kind of way. And then, like, now the game is, is like, kind of saying, oh, y you're being cheesy. Y you, got, you got to do some stuff here, buddy. So, like, if you press in a direction, because dodging just gets you off the cat. Or the Moogle. Okay. Please don't do that anymore. Thank you. Please don't do that anymore. Thank you. The spin is the dodge. You get iframes if you spin. Oh, oh, well, okay. You have to move the stick while you're attacking. Well, yeah, I hadn't learned how to play. I mean, that's if that's the utility of the section, just to get me to learn how to play as this cat, then sure, that's great. Look. 
boy, is this my least favorite part of the game so far, just about. Damn it! That's... that's not good. I dodged it! Game was generous enough to give me a limit break. No! Wasted an ether. Didn't mean to. There, got it. Huh? Eh? What now? Does this game not have elixirs? Yeah, I only use those after the game is over. I'm sorry to say. That he'll go to waste. Yeah. That was cool. Did you see that, chat? You know what was cool about it? I pressed the heal move, or the cure move, and it didn't, nothing happen. It was awesome. Hey, I know a guy interrupted it, just was so cool. I loved it. Heal. Really makes you feel like Kate Sith. I know. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's awesome. We do more of that. Is this another Odin fight? This is the real Odin fight. 
Yes. Sick of looking at this Moogle's big fucking dumpy ass. Do something! Do something! That was a really cool moment for me! <laughs> so cool! Okay, 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 okay. Oh no, now's a bad time to lose the Moogle. Oh my god, it's such a bad time to lose the Moogle, chat. Worst time to lose the Moogle. Having Bloodborne flashbacks, yeah. Make no mistake, this game is harder than Bloodborne when you play as this cat. learn not to, like, fucking dodge the way I've been trying to dodge. Once again, I have tried to dodge the old way. I've been playing this game for 50-something hours, pressing one button to dodge, and then you, you play as Kate Sith, and it just doesn't work that way. Come on! That's a wee stroke of luck! 
Is he saying that kinky? Alright, that's a good place to fight. Right behind there, it's a great place to fight. Heal with items. Yeah. Yep. Items have a lower casting time. Yes, that's true. Hey there, champ. that I mean just just attack just punch no punch Vinny, that heat wave move is terrible, please. I, I know, but elemental weakness, no? I guess it's not worth it. Fair enough. dead. It's berserk, chat. It's ber berserk. You 
suck. Chocobo, why you suck? Yeah, Chocobo, yeah! Chocobo, you don't suck! You're beautiful! Well, I know how to play Kate Sith a little bit better now. Never again. Yeah, tell me about it. You okay? All the better for a wee lie down. So then, onwards and upwards? Vinny, you're almost halfway there? What do you mean? What do you mean almost halfway there? I, we're done with this section, no? So many boxes. What, what do you mean? I gotta do this now. What do you mean? The Chocobo Sage's request. Inspection complete. Resuming operation. No Bunga made this section just for you, yeah, and I didn't even get all ten of them. There's probably like a god weapon, Excalibur 2, locked behind crate throwing minigame. Vinny, you still did this better than me, despite you completely missing the point of this for like 15 seconds. You're just trying to make me feel better about my boss fight. You know, we should probably buy another... I'm gonna buy... Since we do use them, just some random extra materia, just to have copies. Why a fourth lightning? I don't know. Play your game how you want to, chat member. Buy more revival materia. Do they sell it? Uh. Oh, there is. There's one. Uh, who can get this? Well, first of all, maybe... We can use the other. Yeah, we'll put that on there. It just needs more options.
and revival. Vinny, I dare you to finish oh, this game tonight. This time? Tonight no would turn into next week. <laughs> Go again. Now, now, no need for violence. I come in peace, and to abet your escape as well. Huh. Like how you do. Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. Oh my god. I wrote them down oh my in this god. room, but where? Well then, no time to waste. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never a more appropriate name than Ho, Joe. Honestly, if you want, you could just Google it. Well, let me get the gameplay, chat. What am I going to do if I don't get the full gameplay? It's like sleeping. It's just written on the wall there. Chat, why did no bunga make this? Thirty six ten fifty nine ninety seven. Thirty six ten fifty nine ninety seven. Oh, you actually have to rotate it. Boss fight. Keeping a rather unruly oh, I think I yeah. This this enemy, I remember. It's like half blue, half red. <laughs> and so, I'm afraid we have to dispose of it. Try not to die. The safe monster, yeah. Alright, no weaknesses, um, but it does have inflicting enough physical damage will make it resistant to physical attacks while magic damage will make it resistant to magic. Forcing it to switch resistances multiple times will pressure it. It did just 
thing yet. It's the first time I've seen Comet. We need more magic. There we go. Now back to physical. Synergy. So silly. It's so silly. I feel like a Kate's expert now, finally, chat. Probably not the best place to do that, but that's fine. Ooh, and I blocked that too. Shit. We need more, more magic. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. Synergy abilities. Mega Poogle Mash, whatever, fine, I don't give a shit, do it. Not dead yet, buddy. <laughs> Waiting for Vinny to do the Shades one with Aerith and Barret. I don't know if I have that one. It's immune to physical right now, I think. Ooh, Pizza is taking some fucking serious damage. Mm, immune. Oh, it had reflect on. I get it now. Mega ma magic mock box. Please, please work. Didn't work. Yeah!
chat. I don't know what's happening. Physical damage will dispel reflect, while magic damage will dispel shield. That was like a James Bond one-liner, Aerith. Okay. Maybe we don't want to stand in the poison. Oh, the arms! for that limit. We need an ether. On the arm. The fuck is all this? We can we can use maximum fury. Unger Max. That was good. Good Unger. Okay. Really need that ward up again. One more shot. This one's for you. Um, missed Mega Potion. Try not to be too precious with the items anymore. Round uh, bonus round could be good. Don't give up now, you guys. One more shot. 
It's not actually doing any damage, is it, now? There we go. Pressured. Oh god, we are almost dead. Fuck. Ah, fuck it! Fuck it! Yeah, Barrett! built for this kind of thing. Excellent work dispatching that seed. They Here's see another you. one. The manor is a little more neat and tidy. God, All I hate this prick. Aside, since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again, exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. Yeah. Well. Good. Maybe, maybe we should just... You know what? Maybe we'll just sit on a bench real quick. Honestly, though, that kind of probably should have killed Kate Sith because of that one HP. Well, this has been an exceptionally pointless <laughs> section of the game. Again, I don't hate the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. I even understand wanting to play as Kate Sith just to have to give the Catman his own little section. But I would say that this is probably the the weaker section of the game. Now, if I was better at the game and it wasn't And if it wasn't like uh, late and I was tired, oh, well, well. Look at a cat perhaps dragon. maybe I would have liked it a little more, and hey was there. you know would have made it through quicker. So, uh, find that terminal. Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense tuning on past mistakes. Uh, right. Uh. Sith is dead. Oh. I want to unlock that ability. The the one with Aerith and um and Barrett. We should go down there. That seems cool. Hmm. I just close it. The hmm? core's a bit grim, no? So cute. Vincent Van Etten is so cute. He eats at McDaniels. Well, doesn't matter. Who are you? 
Vincent Valentine. It's me, Vincent uh, Vine Sauce. Security. All right, Matt Mercer, whatever uh, you say. Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm -hmm. Point the ass shoes. All he has to do is kick someone in the shin and they can die. Keycard. Why is a cat man crawling around on me? There. Oh. <laughs> you have the authorization at least. Oh, great. Uh, thank you. You can go back to sleep now. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? Um... A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero, Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. Good answer. I see. I see. Then I have one more sin to atone for. Yeah. Unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. That's me. I think Don't he's good. You do, I guess. Uh, Mercer, he's 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 very good, but I can't help but like think that's Matt Mercer, and I think the part of that is is the, I was at the announcement. Yeah, look at me, big big important guy here. But I, I saw it. I was at Comic-Con, and it was like, I am Vincent Valentine, everybody, that's right. And there was just, like, thunderous applause, and people were standing up, and they were shouting, and they were hollering and clapping and puking, and they were humping, and they were fucking, like, grabbing their partner and do -si doing And so, as a result of that, I can't help but hear the voice actor. He's good, though. Um, but that voice he's doing is, you know, that's the, that's the voice you do. I would do that voice when I was doing my old playthroughs of Final Fantasy VII. I am Vincent Valentine. They should have had Red Thirteen's voice actor, Max Middleman, do it. Vending machine in the coffin chamber in case he gets hungry. Is there any blood in here? Why do you get a shit on Max? Because chat hates Sonic. W what do you mean chat hates Sonic? Here's the deal. I think that's what I need. Um, I think he's got incredible range. That Max Middleman. I can't believe that he can do those voices so so well. But that's what they wanted him to do. And so, he did it. And he sounds like Sonic. And he read the lines that were on the page. And they sound like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I can't help but hear it. But, um... I don't know, there's a part of me that would want Vincent Valentine to be a little bit, like, more... I don't know, maybe, maybe there's a, um, a middle ground between cool, edgy vampire man. And something with a little bit more... 
some like a unique or more unique tone. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I would expect Vincent to sound like. Yeah, he just sounds like that. Sure. Someone said Reeves. All right, listen up. It's me, Vincent Valentine. Chum. And I've been in this coffin for three days. So, we're gonna fucking burn this Shinra Manor down. You with me, samurai? Hello, it is me, Vincent Valentine. Welcome to my vampire cave. Enjoy your slumber. I do like Vincent Valentine a lot. But I realize that he's got a really good story in the original. He, there's actually more to him than just cool costume and guns. However, I think a lot of people like him because cool costume and guns. But then they made the game, which was a, a not a great game. They're just Cerberus. That was that, to me. That's as five a ten a game could ever be. So it was fine. It was just like totally, as far as I was concerned when I played it, mediocrity, mediocrity defined. That was my feeling about it. I know some people like it. Some people fucking hate it. I just was like pretty indifferent overall. It was just like. Autopilot while I was playing it. But, um, yeah, I do like Vincent Valentine as a character a, a little bit more than than his outfit. And it is a cool outfit, and we share the same we share the same initials. Vinny Vine Sauce, Vincent Valentine. That's me. Letting, you know, I'm the one who's doing the walking here, but I tried walking backwards and it wouldn't let me. to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah! <laughs> Don't hurt me! Please! I can explain! Drop it. <laughs> Why should I? He's trespassing. Like you. Save it. Had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. Vincent's had like a pretty shit decade. Ah! 
That was a great shot, by the way. Cloud catching Kate Sith by the face. He's morbing. Oh yeah, he is morbing. I can see that shot. That one, this exact shot leading to like a white substance shooting onto the wall. And that's where he, that he did all that morbing. He morbed all over that wall. That's just morb fluid. Oh, I gotta do a boss battle now? Well, I was gonna go to bed, but... So yeah, in the original, you just kind of meet Vincent Valentine, if I'm not mistaken. Um... You, you talk to him for a minute, and then you just leave. Save you, small cat. Hell yeah, All right, never mind. Let's do this. You okay? On you. Oh, he missed. Don't look now. This is about to get real. Man, that was not a great fucking... That was not a great... Oh! That was a bad stagger. You're up. This seems like a good room to summon Alexander, you know. Takes up a full one third of the room. As is expected. Sith has a bad habit of dying. Wow, he's almost dead again already. Cool. Getting careless. Why don't we why don't we use that heal, no? Fucking hell. Any last 
words. He's pissed. Go, Alexander. Do some crazy shit. Shoot the power of holy. Yeah, that, that works. That's crazy shit. I'm good for that. Well... Well, shit. Damn it. Maybe, maybe we can get up, Cloud? Crazy. I just let that happen, too. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Barrett, use your fucking focus shot and we, we can limit. We can hit our limit. There's no limits anymore. No limits, baby. No limits. Oh my god. I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. You shouldn't know that, Catman. Unless you're hiding some your stuff. In the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? <laughs> That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end? Still got to tell the Dirge of Cerberus story, sorry. Get out. No. That'll be your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet. Come on. <laughs> All right, chat, that'll be enough. Um. Go away. Uh, I'm sick of you people. Let me sleep. No, Mom, just 15 more minutes. I don't want to go to school today. Wait, we should do the double save, because I'm not sure 100%. Did we, did we get a good save here? Yeah, 51 hours, huh? Okay. Goodbye, chat.
Thank you for watching. I, I will slumber now, much like Vincent. I, I appreciate everybody watching, and if you, for some reason, decided to watch this with no context and no interest in Final Fantasy, well, I don't, I don't know why, but I'm glad you did. And to everyone else, the usual crowd, I do appreciate your viewership. You make playing games like this more fun. So yeah, that's it. Good night. And I'll see you maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll see. Definitely not Friday, Saturday, but maybe, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Bye. And thank you, mods.